Hello, thanks for joining us. I'm Tracy Christensen, your host on Community Connection. As we look forward to the upcoming spring, we start thinking about spending a little more time outside and connecting with nature. And here to tell us one way we can do that is Helen Dishaw from the Tracy Aviary and our special guest, Ivana. Yeah, beautiful Ivana, a turkey vulture. Wow, <laughs> thanks so much for being with us, both of you. Yeah, she is pretty fascinating. Yeah, she's lovely. So she's one of the many birds that we have at Tracy Aviary. We have um, close to 150 different species of birds at Tracy Aviary and 400 or so different individuals. So there's a lot of really cool birds to see there and she's just one of them. Wow, I keep thinking how my kids would just really love to see her. So tell us about some of the activities that you have year round at Tracy Aviary. Well, there's lots of stuff going on and you mentioned, you know, your kids would love to see her. And that's one of the things that we're really big on at Tracy Aviary is having it be a real family oriented place. Um, we, Ivana is part of our bird show collection. So she's one of the birds that we bring out and do things like this. But just like you're sitting a couple of feet away from her, we also right there at the aviary will get kids just a couple of feet away from a really cool bird like her, or um, we have all kinds of parrots and um, colorful birds that they will sit right on their hand to really? give them a really up close experience. And even our big giant Andy and Condor comes out and walks around and kids can go for a walk around the aviary with a magnificent condor. And that's one of the things that we really strive to do is have these kids of all ages from two to 92, um, but get up close and personal to our our birds in hopes that we inspire some caring attitudes towards birds and nature in general and encourage them to want to get outside and explore the big beautiful world we've got around us. And what's your job there? Because you obviously know what you're doing with this animal. I, I'm actually the curator of bird training and education programs at the aviary, but I've been um, working with animals for close to two decades now and training birds. So vultures happen to be my absolute favorite. So I'm really thrilled to have Ivana here with me today. And why are vultures your favorite? I think they're just super fascinating creatures to begin with. The more, if you don't know anything about them, I encourage your viewers to Google them or better yet, come down to the aviary and hear about them from us. But uh, they're really fascinating creatures, super beneficial to our planet. So of course their job is carry and clean up. And if you think about that, a turkey vulture like Ivana here will eat about 100 pounds of carrion in a year. If you multiply that out by the hundreds and thousands of vultures that we have right here in Utah, that's a lot of dead stuff. So <laughs> they really do a good job cleaning that up for us and preventing the spread of bacteria and disease. So they have a vitally important role. I also think they're misunderstood and underappreciated. They get kind of a bad rap and that's people true. think they're ugly and really they're not. So we do encourage you to come down and meet some beautiful vultures up close and see if we can change your mind. And you talk about training them. Do you, you train the birds at the aviary? Yeah, we have um, a lot of the birds on exhibit are trained to help the keepers take care of them in the best mm -hmm. way. But our bird show birds are the most trained. They're out doing our programs. So we have a lot of really cool programs for kids and adults at the aviary. We have um, pre, uh, preschool classes for this season just started today and they run all spring and then again in the fall. We have uh, camps, spring, summer and fall for little ones oh. to come and do a camp at the aviary, meet these really cool birds. And training them allows us to do this, to get them really close to people. If you think out in the wild, most of the time birds stay away from us and they're cool and beautiful to go out and see, but you don't get really close to them. They're a little shy and nervous, but training them like you can see Ivana is not bothered oh. at all. Just the she's fact that she'll quite, sit here, yeah, that's pretty amazing. She's quite comfortable to sit here with all these cameras and lights and all kinds of things. And you have winter Wednesdays. Yes. That's where you can get it free to the aviary. Yep. So every year from November to March, each year we do winter Wednesdays, which are a free day at the aviary. We have lots of fun things going on. So we do have bird encounters where you can get this close to a turkey vulture or one of her co-stars, whichever ones are out today. We do a um, book and bird program. You're chewing my shoe. You're playing now. <laughs> and we do a book and bird program. 
um, on Wednesdays also, which is a story time for little ones where they can come and hear a story and meet the bird from the story. So Whoa. fun things on Wednesdays. What a treat to meet Ivana. Thank you so much. You're and welcome. If you'd like to go and meet Ivana and her friends at the Tracy Aviary, please click on our website, kbyu11.org, and you can go to the community tab and visit the Tracy Aviary website and learn more about the many events and, and birds that you can see there. Thanks so much for joining us at KBYU 11 on Community Connection. See you next time.